All right, it looks like we're live. Hey everybody who uh, has decided to join this evening, I hope you're well. It's great to see you. Thank you so much for joining me this evening for an Empathy Wines tasting the new vintage. I'm gonna have my uh, partners Nate and John here. I've got a surprise guest that I'm excited about. And I know a lot of you have picked up the wine to try and taste along with us. So I'm really excited. Please say what's up in the chat uh, so I can see some of you. Matthew Carroll, good to see you from Australia. Um, good to see all of you this evening. Hope everybody's well. Danish, Cindy would be. Raphael Peterson, good to see you. Canna, Walgreen. Uh, Dustin, maybe we can get somebody on Team Gary, if you can text the thread, to go live on Instagram and um, just stick it to the front of the camera. Jonathan Bell, Mina, good to see you. Scott, Luke, what's good? Great to see everybody from LinkedIn and Facebook coming on. Dustin, did you see that? Come on film and tell me if you did. What you just said? Yeah, to get somebody on the team, go live on Instagram and just yep. hold the camera in front of their computer. Yep. You put that in the thread? I'm doing it right now. Awesome. It's good to see you. Oh, you too. <laughs> I know a lot of these people miss you from Tea with Gary Vee. We've got to get that going again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see ya. Okay, bye. Um, James, great to see you. Reem Reem, good to see you. Michael N. Papa Punk is in the building. Rodrigo, great to see you from Brazil. Uh, so we're gonna taste these three wines, kind of new releases from Empathy. We're gonna talk to John and Nate, my partners in crime, see how they're doing since the acquisition. And we've got a little bit of a special offer for everybody who wants to be part of uh, the wine club. Um, and uh, and I miss all of you and I hope everyone's super well. And uh, let's uh, let's bring on my partners in crime. Uh, Dustin, maybe as I'm pouring this rosé, you can bring on John and Nate and they can say hello. Hello, John and Nate. What's going on, Gary? How are you? Good. Anything interesting? Uh, just poured a little white myself. Mr. Troutman, you're on mute. Classic. One year later, and I'm still doing it. One year later, and you're on mute. Is still it still works. <laughs> uh, real quick in the chat, while we're, we're about to say hello, would love to get a sense if you have bought Empathy Wines. Please just put yes or no. As a reply right now, big shout out to Josh, Alan, A. Shell. Just trying to get a sense. Yes or no, please. Um, so John Nate, obviously we sold Empathy uh, in, I guess officially what March of June. twenty June. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> I, I negotiated my part in March, uh, June. Uh, why don't you give everybody, since a lot of people here know who you guys are. Uh, by the way, a lot of no's here. We have to change that. Dustin, throw up the URL. Um, we have our subscriptions on discount. I created a nice little URL here. It would mean the world to me as the majority of these are no. John and Nate, you might be in trouble here. Way too many no's, some not yet's. Uh, there is the URL, garyb.com slash ewine, stands for Empathy Wines. If uh, some of you in the comment section could do me a huge favor and link this URL so it's just clickable for all the people in the chat. Um, we're really excited about Empathy and this year and for this event tonight, we've created this discount uh, on the three, six, and 12 packs that uh, I hope you can get excited about because we're pretty damn excited about it. Um, but John, Nate, why don't you give a little story time on how things are going in your new home? Nate, you kicking us off? <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. It's been, a, it's been an awesome, I guess, eight months now at Constellation. Um, it's very different going from entrepreneur and co-founder into a, a company like Constellation. Um, but also, you know, has tons of upsides. There was fires in the valley this year, which were devastating. Um, but having a support team and infrastructure like Constellation behind us allowed us to create the wine that we wanted to create going forward. Um, so much more resources at your disposal to to really build a business and, and build a company that that we're continue to be proud of. So definitely very different. Um, learning a lot, but excited about the next vintage for sure. John. Um, yeah, I think just building on what Nate said, our day to day has changed a ton, right? You go from John, excuse me, real quick. Um, tiny. Carl, Carl M just said, Gary, will you marry me? And I, I'm gonna say yes to Carl, big day here. So, for everybody celebrating Carl and my marriage, please go to garyv.com slash ewine and order a 12 bottle subscription. Which, by the way, the subscription gets you the red wine first, right, man? Yep, so we're shipping the red wine right now. And then, then the rose will come in a couple our, months. Our new rose, which is our 2020 rose, will come probably mid-April. 
and then our 2020 white will come uh, early oh. summer. Um, so right now we're shipping the 20, 2019 red, um, and then the 2020 red will be will be next year. John, Car did we just get you and Carl a wedding registry gift? Gift? I think. I think that's we good. Did. We did, but I just want to make sure you uh, you get to say what you need to say. Um, yeah, I was going to say like our day to day has changed a ton, but when it comes to the actual like making of the wine, I think the really nice thing is like not much has changed at all. Like our mission remains the same. Um, like they've given us the autonomy to continue um, uh, working with the people that we want to work with, source the type of wine that we want to uh, source from the top type of growers that we want to work with. So from that standpoint, the mission remains the same to deliver like the best price wine that we can for, for the money. Um, which is really our, our mission for like the best twenty dollar brand, and now with the discount, it goes lower. With when people go to garyvcom ewine has really worked for us. Um, for people in the comments, a lot of knows when, and a lot of people sharing the URL. So thank you. I'd love to see some people sign up for some subscriptions. Um, Nate, are you able to see the subscription orders come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important to me that we give full name shout outs to people as orders come in right now. Um, we do not ship to the UK, right, guys? It's it's America at this point. Yep, US. Not every state because the laws are tricky, but um, uh, I definitely want to give shout outs, Nate, to people that order, specifically people order, um, you know, one case things. And then I also have a special guest that we'll have in a couple of minutes, which I'm excited about. Um, but most of all, I'm extremely passionate about getting some wine information and some entrepreneur information on this evening because I know we have a lot of people here. So wine information, John, Nate, and especially John because I think you're a better wine guy than Nate. You know, what, what's going on in the wine world from your perspective, from your palate, from things that you're excited about, things that you've tried? So I feel like uh, California has been like absolutely crushed the last few years with like vintage issues, but at the same time, I think the wines are better than ever. Like winemaking has just improved so much, even just in the last like 10 years. Do you think wines are more balanced, John? I think they're more balanced. I think they got a little crazy there for a while where they were like so over the top. And finally now it's getting back to swinging the pendulum um, to a good place. Um, Nate, which is Nate, Nate, you're prepared to give people shout outs on this screen, right? Oh, as soon as I see them. Understood. Go ahead, John. Um, I think like the, uh, but just like the sheer quality, like you see the just massive consistency where every single year now, even amid the wildfires, like you're able to source really, really good grapes and make really, really high quality wine, um, which that it's gotten that much better. I think even just in the last like 10 years. Um, and then in general, like I think Rosé is, is obviously a massive trend. Um, and now getting like a firsthand look at Constellation with the deep like research and insights they provide, like it's not going away. Like it's just, it's just maintained. It's like a category unto itself now. It's almost like people think of it as not wine, um, where people just view it as like in the way they view sparkling seltzer, beer, wine. It's almost like Rosé is a thing unto itself. So that's super exciting in my mind. Uh, Dustin, we can we can have as many people as we want on screen right now. I can have a big shout out to Chaz Torchek. Oh, obviously, yeah. So we're gonna bring our guest in one second. I also think that I want to incentivize one case. Let me just see this URL. So Gary Vee, you go there, you scroll down. The Connoisseur, three shipments, twelve bottle each, two hundred four discounted. So Nate, I assume that's six hundred bucks to get you know a case of red, white, and rosé for the next year of empathy. Six twelve. Um, May's asking if you could shout out Instagram because they think it's pre-recorded. So Instagram, what's good? This is super live. Um, it is 6.40 p.m. on Monday, February 15th. Uh, I don't know what else I could do to prove it. Uh, here we go. Here's my phone. Actually, let's see. Well, I guess on my Instagram, she's logged into my account. Yeah, Instagram is real. Um, okay, there you go, Dustin. Uh, let's bring in our guest because I'm extremely fond of him and I think we need him here. Hey, hey. Hey, Josh, how are you? Dude, I'm great. I've got a ton of food here. I hope you guys are, are ready for it. Too bad you can't taste it. Yeah, I'll watch you eat it and we'll get jealous. But real quick, please tell everybody who you are and a little bit about yourself because I really wanted to give a little flex to you and your incredible career. For sure, yeah. Uh, well, I'm. thank you, Gary. I appreciate you having me on here. Uh, I'm Josh Weissman. 
Uh, I uh, run a YouTube channel under my name. Uh, I've been cooking my whole life. Uh, I have a long background, chef background. I've cooked in some of the uh, best fine dining restaurants in the South Central region of America. I would have been the youngest sous chef at that restaurant until uh, I ended up going full time on my own uh, brand and career on uh, on YouTube and social media and everything like that. And now I produce tons of videos for uh, my YouTube base now, 3.5 or what am I at? I don't even know where I'm at anymore. 3.6 million subs and uh, growing, man, growing, loving it. What made you jump into influencer life and what kind of chef do you consider yourself? So give me those two answers. Well, I mean, I, I, it's kind of a, it's a difficult word to place, right? Because to me, a true chef is somebody that's at the helm of a restaurant and I don't have a restaurant yet. It's coming. It is coming. Uh, but until then, I don't feel right about giving myself that full title. Um, so I guess I'm a chef in training, if anything, until that happens. But um, beforehand, I was a lead cook at a fine dining restaurant. Now, I think I don't really consider myself as much of a social media influencer because I've had, I'm gunning for so many different things at once. Um, but for me, it's more Josh, about... Excuse, excuse me for one second. Nate, do we still ship to South Dakota? Because Chris Jacobson is asking. South Dakota's in play. Chris, you're in play. Go ahead, Josh. I'm you, Josh, you don't get, Josh, you don't consider yourself an influencer. You don't consider yourself a chef. The hell do you consider yourself? A man with good hair? <laughs> yes. A hundred percent. That's it. No, you, you, you hit the nail on the head. That is exactly <laughs> what I, I wield knives and I have great hair. That's pretty much all I do at this point. That's your life. Yeah, exactly. John Trowman, where is your cooking journey? Ooh, I'm like very, very far behind Josh. I'm like just a hobbyist at home. Are you decent? I'm pretty good. Like I got Nate? all the essentials down. I can roast a chicken. Nate? I might, I might be the worst cook on this. On this <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Wait, no, why? True. I want to know why. Yeah, why, Nate? Um, you lack effort. I lack effort. I haven't yeah, given it. You it. lack commitment. I feel like I have it inside me, but I just haven't given it the uh, the effort needed to, to exceed. I feel like That's I could be one of the great chefs of all time <laughs> if I applied myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a few we're going orders. head to head. As soon as as soon as we can get together, we're going head to head. It's happening. I love it. I love. We're gonna have a cook off. All right, Josh. Let's taste this rosé together. Yes. You have the uh, nineteen rosé. I have the nineteen rosé. Nate, John, maybe you guys can talk a little bit about the twenty rosé, which will be the rosé if people order now. And Nate, maybe on the GaryVee.com e wine, can you explain the three, six, and twelve subscription thing? And since nobody's offered yet, I since nobody's bought any yet, you've not oh, been I've able to shout. Sales. Oh, you've got some sales. Yeah. So we've got to give some shout, Nate. This is like the, I, I want to give people some real flex and some love. I'm very grateful for these sales. Let me just refresh because we got another one. All right. Wait, um, where's the puns? You're very grateful. Sorry. All right, I'll stop. I'll just stop there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, That'll Josh, be the only comedian. one. You're not a chef. You're not an influencer. You're a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Like a, 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 I don't even know if I could say this. Like a, a douche level comedian. It just kind of stops right around there. Good news, you can say anything here. Nate, okay, let's good. give some love first. Yeah, we got uh, Ch -ch 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 Tyler Whitlow, uh, Jongus Ed, Bruce Stageberg, Christine Scoto. Bruce Stageberg, that's such a great name. Uh, Lisa Shell, Edward Lisa. Santana, Brian Edward Walsh, Lynch. Mike Silvestri, and a couple more are coming in. Got to refresh again. Uh, Josh, are you doing any clubhouse rooms? Okay, I knew you were going to ask me this. Fuck. Um, so I just got on Clubhouse and I'm still figuring it out, but I haven't done it yet. I'm going to. Okay. I need to find the right person to jive with. You know what I mean? What I need somebody me? that I'm I can yell at. Jivable. I'm dude. I'm, you know I'm here for it. You know I'm here for it. I went in one room and it got really awkward and I just dipped real hard. John, uh, Trauman, Nate, Clubhouse? I'm, uh, I listen in. I tune in. Mostly on the sports cards chats. The last one I was in was some frat house guy roast where it was just a bunch of frat house guys shooting their shots at girls in clubhouse. Oh, I and, heard about uh, was this was this the whole Silicon Valley NYU? Yes, yes. yes. I, I was literally saw that headline, which was fascinating. But I'm like, I'm not going in there. <laughs> like, I couldn't help like, myself because oh. one of my friends was in there. It was Cody, uh, my friend Cody Co was in there, and he he actually got like brought in as an admin, and it was really it was really funny and just insanely awkward. By the way, Nate, Bruce has been a long time Wine Library fan, which is why I gave him the name, shout out. Awesome. I'm super aware of that name for a long time. Any other new names, Nate? Well, John comes in and talks about his clubhouse. Uh, Tyler Honga and James Phillips. 
Who's bought a case subscription? Anyone, Nate? Because I want to give them a- Two case subscriptions, Christine Scoto and Lisa Shell. Hey, Dustin, are you able to give the URL that we're on to the two people that just bought a case so I can answer a question for them so I could show them supreme love? Like anybody who orders like a case, are you able to have like Zane right now watch, maybe give them the URL and then you'll see them backstage? Like, I feel like I want to get, like I'm very prices right. I'm very like, let's make a deal. I'm very like, you know me, Dustin. I'm yeah, very spontaneous. I could, I could send the uh, URL to Nate and Nate can text it to them. Oh yeah, exactly. He can email it to them. Oh, That's yeah, exactly that. right. Give Nate the URL, email that to Nate. Does it, does it come back? Why'd you leave? I love when you're on screen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give Nate the URL. <laughs> Nate. So wait, Nate gets the URL. Nate sees a 12 bottle subscription come in, the $600 one. He then emails those people that. They come in, will they be in the back room and you'll see them, Dustin? Yeah. Beautiful, that's what we're doing. Cool. I just, I have to say for the record, uh, this is my first time trying the rosé, and it is extremely fucking good. It is very uh, good. Don Trotman, what, what's the difference between the 19 that Josh and I are having, which I thought, you know, was exceptional, and the 20 that I tasted the other day and we made a final call on? Any thoughts, any observations, giving people the preview? Yeah. So not being a salesman, because, like, I actually – Because you're not good at it? Because I'm not good at it. <laughs> Nate, that's been, honestly, I think we would have sold empathy for two times more if John was good at selling. I, I think you sell, sell John's salesmanship uh, to him. Who's, who's, yeah, who's better? Hey, who's better sales, you or John? I think, I think we have different sales. sales uh, Nate, this types. is not political correct hour with Josh Weissman. This is answer the questions <laughs> with Gary V. I think, John's a, better, I think John's a better salesman. Who's a better salesman? John and you versus me. You. How about me versus you, John, and four other people, like Tyler, D-Rock? I mean, I mean, I don't like to give Gary credit that often. But I know, by the I, way, I know Nate. Nate, tell him, can you two tell everybody who's watching right now how you both went from interns to my partner and now millionaires? Tell them how you're millionaires now, guys. I'll, I'll finish my statement, to, but I'll say I, I usually don't like to give Gary that much credit, but I will say Gary's the best salesman that I've ever seen in my life. By building brand and bringing value, right? Correct. So you don't have to be a salesperson, which Correct. is the best. And by listening and kind of and hearing what people are saying and then selling what they want because we have it. Providing, I prefer. Providing. Gary's the best person. By the way, that's how we came up. That's why I think Empathy was born. Like people want really great wine. John, you know this, we talked a lot about this. People get hosed at 12 to $15 a bottle. People get, get caught when they find $40 wine because they're like, fuck, now I can't drink the $12 wine, right? Like you're stuck and who the hell can fucking buy $40 wine every night unless you're rich like John now is. And so to me, that's where this $20 ambition, and now that you guys have discounted it for this event, I'm really pumped about it. Like I think the subscription is a real big win. Right. John? Yeah, I also think, uh, not to make this very meta, but I feel like people aren't good at selling wine because they're not empathetic. Can we shift to Colorado? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes, KJ. Nate, do you have more shout outs? I agree on the empathetic part. Uh, I'm sending out these links to the two case buyers, but. Um, I feel like you're going to get more case buyers because people want to come on video. Jerry Lynn just bought and James House just bought to some. Do some they buy cases or are they three bottle subscriptions? Three, three bottle subscriptions. All right. Josh, people love you. You're getting a lot of love in the comment section. What, yes. are you cooking, what are you cooking while Nate's sending those links and John's gonna explain to us the lack of empathy in sales in a few minutes, which I can't wait to clip that and see it on his Instagram. Go ahead, Josh. <laughs> so, okay. You know, one of the funny things is I was thinking about, as soon as uh, Nick hit me up about this op, I immediately thought back to when you went on, like, I forget what it was that you went on. You went on some talk show and you were like eating, literally eating dirt. Oh, no brain. Yes, yes, yes. And I thought, okay, so weird, weird uh, pairings with wine. And one of my favorite things to pair with, you know, with a rosé is Indian food because it's like spicy, it's mm -hmm. spiced. There's like so many rich flavors and a nice sort of fruity bounce rosé. I'm super cuts pissed. That really nicely. I'm, super, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm super pissed, John, that we didn't sell Josh this because you. I literally am tasting this as Josh is talking. This is the white. And I'm saying to myself, holy shit, I have some spicy food coming for dinner and I'm gonna fucking rock this white. Josh, this white's even made more for Thai and kind of faux and like- I believe food. it. 
I have one. I'll go pop one right now and eat it with this. Oh, you do? I, nice. I, yeah. When I finish this one, I'll go pop it. Um, so what do you make? Ba- Josh? Basically, it, so it is Indian inspired, but I also wanted there to be a little bit of a weird quality to it. And by weird, I mean, when you think of wine, you think of something classy, you know, like you've got your caviar and cucumbers like Gary likes to eat on the side. Uh, oh, nice. I know. And this is a little bit more sort of juvenile, but there's also something classy about it. So it's it's chicken tikka masala. It's made with a bunch of really nice spices that I made completely from scratch. Uh, I also got the cream myself uh, from a local uh, a local farm. So it's like really, really good stuff, but it's within the confines of a quesadilla. So it's like a taco, but a quesadilla. So I'm griddling it right now. So like melty cheese. Sounds so good. You can see, I just got some color on, I'm about to flip it. Dude, I'm mm-hmm. telling you, this is this is the type of stuff that makes the eyes roll into the back of the head once Nate, it's done. Nate, can you tell everybody how much you love me because I forced you to get into sports cards and you've done <laughs> extremely well and how much John has missed the boat and could have changed his life? Well, those are those are both true. Gary, I mean Gary was talking about sports cards probably 15 months ago. And I doubt three years. I started listening 15 months ago. Uh, and then I started dabbling. Um, my strategy was not great off the bat. I just bought cards of players that I liked. Um, Devin Booker is a good player. But Devin Booker is a good and player. And this white wine is so good. Uh, but it's been awesome. I mean, the community in the, I'm gonna grab it. In the sports card world has been um, pretty cool to see that growth over the past 12 months. Nate, any more shout outs? And did you send the emails to those two people? I and Dustin, to those two people, as, yeah. Dustin, as soon as you've got people, no matter what we're in right now, I want them in here if they okay. come in. Oh yeah, we got one more one more uh, case purchaser. Matt, Max Fox Trot. Max is gonna get in here proper. Um, if you're just joining us, we are drinking wine. I am having the 2019 red, which will be if you order right now on GaryB.com slash ewine, which will go to Empathy Wines page, you'll see three levels of subscription. If you order now, the red will be the first wine, right, John? That's right. Yeah, it'll With come immediately. One. Can you tell people what the 411 is on this? So this is uh, Zinfandel. And people, and people, yeah, people want to know the blends on the white, the road, and the rosé. And by the way, when they order there, they're getting a subscription. So three bottles of red, three bottles of white, three, ro- actually it's gonna go red, rosé, white for everybody who buys tonight on the discount at Empathy Wines' you know, uh, subscription page. Nice pour there, Josh. And that's at GaryB.com slash ewine, which will redirect you so it's an easy URL to remember. Go ahead, John. Um, so it's a it's a blend of primarily four grapes, Zinfandel, Syrah, Petite Syrah, and Cabernet. Um, the irony is when we're blending the wine, we we're actually using the prisoner as our biggest inspiration and like food point. So we did a tasting with like, I think we had 20 red wines lined up. Some of the top wines from Napa Valley, a bunch of different red blends. Um, and obviously the one that we had the most inspiration in was the prisoner fast forward about a, you know, a year after we blended that wine and sure enough, we joined the constellation brands family, which owns the prisoner. So that in and of itself, is um, and not to say that this wine isn't a, a carbon copy of the prisoner, but this wine's it's- way better than the prisoner. Is that going to get me in trouble with, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's funny. I have the beholder, right? One of the things I'm getting very into as I think both of you, if anybody who's following me on social media the last 48 hours, something I've been studying for about six months is NFTs, non-fungible tokens, right? Art on the blockchain. And so I'm getting very deep into art. And in theory, it's just digital. And what's been really fascinating is it's truly in the eye of the beholder. Uh Uh-oh, we have somebody here. We have a guest who we have to say thank you to. Name is Matt. Dustin, what are you doing here? Matt's page is weird. Could you triple confirm that Matt was in good shape? You you, you ruined the production of our show, Dust. It's okay. I can save this with this cheese bowl, guys. It's gonna be fine. Look how big Josh's knife is. It's a fucking machete. I got a bigger one if you want to see it. Yes, I'd like but, to see uh, a big knife. <laughs> Wait, look at this. This is this is the savior of the show right here. Is the uh, the classic, oh, one and only. Woo! Look at that. Cool. My stomach Dude. just turned. I'm so into it. I want you to know that uh, I, I was shooting my cookbook a week ago and the cheese pull was is always the most stressful part. And uh, my director of photography is always like, yeah, the worst time to be around Josh is anytime he has to do a cheese pull. You have one shot. All right. 
Let's say hello to Matt. And I also see uh, Moshe, the concierge is 204 a, ca- uh, 204 a case, but because you're getting, but you're, it's a subscription, the URL down below. You get three bottles three times, six bottles three times, or a case three times. But we only bill you. This was a big decision our early, like when we started this company, when do we bill? And we wanted to, I wanted to bill all up front, but Nate's a much better man than me. And he's like, let's bill when they actually get the wine. So you get billed right away 204 for a case of red that gets sent to you. This used to be 240, but we're doing a discount for this show tonight. So it's less than $20 a bottle. And then you get billed again when the rose and the white are ready. Matt, thank you so much for ordering a subscription uh, to our lovely humble wine project. How are you? Thank you, Gary. This, yeah. this is actually my, my eighth time ordering a case of wine. You might not remember this. I, I one, I don't even drink wine, but uh, we you did the barter challenge two years ago, and uh, Nate and I worked out a deal where I traded. I remember for agent twenty twenty. I remember Matt. I remember. And, and here's what the best. You, what news. did you What did you do with uh, all the wine? Yep, we we took a picture. Uh, I, I I gave it out to customers who bought RVs. So, so here's the best part, Gary. Um. I had you as my profile picture for the last two years. Agent 2021, I had 1,600 subscribers, and I worked hand-in-hand hand with Lindsay Blum, and she still keeps in contact with me today. And today, I just changed my profile picture to this. Let's go. Oh, two yeah. years because Let's of Gary B. I hit 100,000 subscribers. Good for you, brother. Congratulations, Matt. Yeah, Good man. Thank you. Thank you. So that's why, you know, I just want to support – and thank you uh, so much for buy some more us. wine. And I just wanted to thank you. And I can't wait for your book to come out either. Uh, Matt, because I'm not that, you know, I'm being very coy about this one, but I'm telling you right now, it's going to be the one. I'm so pumped with what's going on with this book. I'm really proud of it. And we're only 30% of the way done. But my team and my maturity of where I am in my career, I think I'm putting some of my best work on paper. So, Thank you for saying that. Hope I'm trying to get it done before the end of the year. So thank you. In, cool. in good health when you hand out the wine instead of consuming it because I know you don't drink it. And thank you for being on with us, brother. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Thanks, Nate. Yeah, it was good seeing you. Nate, right, any more uh, invoices coming in for you? Yeah. Um, got Nancy uh, Solorio. Um, let's see the club people. Ryan Adams bought a club. Uh, Rodolfo bought a club. Rodolfo Espino. Uh, Alan Chris. Christiani bought one, so I'm gonna send out a link to, to those folks right now. Thank you. I just wanna take a five second break to say thank you to all of you. You know, a lot of you DM me and email me and say, what can I do for you? If you don't drink wine, please don't order this. If you don't drink wine, but happen to give gifts to clients or employees, then please order it. And if you drink wine, it would mean the world to me if you ordered a subscription on garyvee.com slash e-wine and got a three, six or 12 bottle subscription to Empathy. We think the wines are remarkable for 20 bucks. Really, my ambition has always been $40 wine for 20 bucks. And the boys here, who are now really bosses, created a discount tonight, which uh, you'll see on the page, which takes it below 20 bucks. And the case gets delivered for free. So like, did some cool stuff tonight for this uh, little get together. We brought one of my favorite buddies, Josh Weissman, who I've enjoyed watching from afar, build an incredible community around the food world. I see him drinking our white right now and I saw his reaction. And thank you so much to everybody. It's so good. It's so good. Um, so this red especially has my attention, Troutman, um, because I'm, I'm very passionate about reds that you can drink by yourself with cheese, but also will stack up to steak or beef or very complicated pasta dishes. Thoughts on the way we thought, the way the grapes came in on the 19 to give everybody a little bit behind the scenes. Yeah, 19, so in the press and funny, people who like really tracked it, you know, living out in California, like, 19, you would think would would have been a tough vintage just because the wildfires hit a lot of parts of Northern California. But the actual fruit that was harvested was, I, I think, really, really, really good. Well, it was on its way to being like super legit until the fires, right? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It would have been like an all-time vintage. Um, and then really what it just did was made people have to be that much more diligent in like what they actually- I actually them. argued with a friend the other day that the 19s are gonna be super steals because people were scared mm-hmm. to have any smoke taint. The vintage was epic. 
I think that most winemakers and wineries, because they worry about their reputation, were even more conservative, and you almost got a creme de la creme de la creme wine. I would actually argue that 2019 is gonna end up being a buyer's paradise. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people, like the re reviews are just coming in now, and take what you will from the critics, but like on the whole, everybody's really praising it and saying it's really good, which I think surprised a lot of people. Um, but I think ours, to your point around like, a wine that's really flexible and can be drunk on like a ton of different occasions. I think that's why I love it so much. People who really know wine and like are kind of serious about it, taste our wine and they're really impressed. And then people who don't even think they like red wine taste it and they're also have their mind blown, I think a lot of the time, which is always fun. So I'm gonna ask Josh a food and wine question, but Nate, John, I want you guys to go off mute. I wanna open up, can, you guys can both see the questions in the comments tab, right? Yeah. There's a lot of people asking questions about logistics, which will be Nate's category, and wine questions. I wanna open this up for people to ask wine questions will be John's category. Literally talk over me and Josh right now, because I love chaos, and so that's what I'm looking for here, a little chaos hour. So Josh, while these boys are answering all these questions as they stream in, your favorite food and wine pairing. And guys, I want well, you to yeah, talk Corley, over. Yeah, Corley, yes, it's the same red wine in the 12 pack. Josh? The number one favorite? No, of all time, just right one. Now. Honestly, anything with cheese, but uh, honest, well, I was originally going to do a grilled cheese for the record because my favorite pairing is a grilled cheese and a rosé. I don't know why. It just goes well together. I really enjoy it. And I, I don't have to, you don't, you don't need a lot to make it happen. Normally, if you have a bottle of rosé or any bottle of wine that's comparable and some cheese and some bread, you can have a great wine pairing that's, you know, pretty enjoyable. So that's that's my personal favorite. We can or ship you can to get Wisconsin, fancy. Brock. Yeah, Brock, we can ship to Wisconsin. So your your grilled cheese and rosé, grilled cheese and rosé, or or a white wine. This you, also, by the way, as your note, you'd noted that this white wine goes really would go really well with this. You were right; it does. Thank you, sir. Both of these John, honestly pair really well with it. John Trautman, the vineyards the grapes are from. Max J is asking. Give us a give a little story about the uh, farmers. Yep. So the 19 comes from mostly two growers, although there's three all together. So one is Clay Shannon, which there's actually wow. an all time episode. Of all time video. <laughs> you can't ship to Ohio anymore, sadly. No Ohio, yep, yeah. go ahead. There's, a, there's an all time uh, video interview of, of Gary and Clay Shannon, which I'll actually try to find and drop into the comment section for people to watch after this. Um, Clay is a great guy. Um, he, I think like, Gary, you talk about the analogy of like, buying Malibu beachfront property before people realize its value, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. I think Clay did that for Lake County. 100%. He just recognized that like Napa Valley fruit was getting way too expensive. And as a result, you know, consumers had to pay too much. Um, and meanwhile, just a little bit north, he bought up a ton of land in Lake County and is making some incredible wines. So he, he's a big, big portion of the red blend there. I'm sorry to interrupt you, John. Uh, for everybody who's just joining, oh. Whoa! What's I'm good, in. bro? You're What's in. What's going Rodolfo. on? Holy Thank you so holy. much. I was give me one second, Rodolfo. For everybody who's just joining, the way Rodolfo just got in, if you go to GaryBe.com slash ewine and order the one case subscription to concierge, uh, Nate is looking out for the receipts and then emailing you this URL so you can join us. Rodolfo, you're drinking it. Let's go. I've drank it. What's good? You drank it. <laughs> <laughs> Rodolfo, tell us about yourself and what question can I answer for you? Wow, this is uh, this is amazing. Uh, so one of the things I have to say is, you know how you always talk about like being the toll booth. You know, Gary is kind of the toll booth for other communities around him. So like it, you're kind of the hub of this spoke. And I follow like a lot of your uh, a lot of your people um, and just the community that they surround themselves with and the positivity around that is really really nice. You know, Thank just you for saying that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You're talking about the D rocks and the Claudes and the others of the world. Oh yeah, I've been on drawing with Zane a few times with my kids. I'm That's at awesome. work, or else it would be really, really loud in here. I love <laughs> so. it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. What are you up to? Anything I can answer for you? You know, um, so I, I guess two questions. So one, one was based on the Twitter post that you had about um, the blockchain being able to provide a unique. Um, unique product, basically, whatever it is, right? So it could be be art, could be music, um, even gaming, you know, people on Minecraft can create and sell items that are unique. Um, how do you 
advise other people to get into that either as an investor or maybe as a creator? By doing homework on YouTube and Google, like understanding what NFT stands for, non-fungible tokens, how it works, getting a Coinbase, getting a MetaMask, knowing what Bitski is, like homework, 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 knowing what yeah. crypto punks are, knowing what hash masks are, knowing like education. And, you know, I rag on, not rag on, I have a problem with college for a certain group of humans on earth. I don't think it's a one size fits all the way society did for 40 years. But my greatest belief is education, right? And so getting educated. And so Rodolfo, I think it's really going down the rabbit hole of NFT. What does NFT mean? Yeah. Like doing what I've done the last six months. I've yeah. done tens and tens and tens of hours of consuming information. So I understand what's so rare in NBA Top Shot and you know, all these things mean, you know, the Flamingo Project, like you gotta get educated. And so yeah. I think there's something going on in a real way on, uh, on blockchain. And I think I'm happy for the artists and the creators because they're gonna be able to keep the economics and there's a lot to be explored. And I think a lot of people are gonna struggle with understanding it the way people struggled with understanding the internet in 1994, five, mm -hmm. six, seven. And I highly recommend a lot of people, there's a lot of people at 30, 40, 50 years old Nah, 20, uh, 20, 30, 40 years old who make fun of their parents for not understanding the internet and they're completely lost on blockchain. And it's because they're not willing to do what they did as kids, which is get educated. And so that's my answer on NFT. I'm very, very, very bullish on it. The digitalization. Yeah, no, What's a clubhouse invite going for? 120 bucks on eBay. That's an invite to a platform that is virtual. Like VR is brewing. What's a, what yep. do you think a blue check on Instagram is worth to some people right now? When people are like, Gary, why are you buying $2,000 digital art? I'm like, I don't know, why would you, why do you spend 5,000 hours of your life dwelling that you don't have a blue check on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so these are the things that, why do you spend $8,000 on a belt that has a Gucci logo on it? Humans communicate and the digital world is the digital world now, the end. Why did Matt show a little plaque right now with 100,000 subscribers? Why did Josh know exactly what that plaque meant? Because the digital world is the world. Period, end of story. Mm -hmm. So I would get educated on NFT for real, Rodolfo, for real. Yeah, no, 100%. Started this weekend. I mean, you know, crypto is being able to store your assets without borders. But, re but, and real, it's not just but, real, but real quick, there will be incredible amounts of money lost. Sure. Not just mm -hmm. me. Yeah. So education, education, education. All right, I, I gotta leave in a little bit, so I'm gonna kick you off, but thank you for the support, enjoy the wines. Love you, man. Love you more. Yes, Charles, I think you got it with Marvel and UFC. Thomas, what's good, bro? Hey, how's it going, guys? Real good, thank you so much for the support. Yeah, man, uh, my business partner, we own a, a bar that's currently closed because of COVID, but we own a wine bar in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's what's up, brother. And uh, yeah, last time I drank with him, we drank that Empathy Rosé that was amazing. Thank you, man, how are you? Um, I'm doing well. Just uh, I, I've always been brick and mortar, never digital. Picked up my first camera six months ago. Starting to make as much content as possible yes. in both realms. Uh, love Josh. I got um, he's amazing. My business partner introduced to Josh, and then he introduced me to you, Gary. So thank you. Yeah, just just I, this business partner. To... This business partner sounds amazing. Oh yeah, he. I, he's all right. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, big shout out to Grace Johnson. Thank you for ordering. Scott Gardner, thank you for ordering. Yes, Dustin, do that. Anybody who's claiming that they're ordering, and also Nate, I want you to look back at the film. Anybody here who just claimed that they ordered just to get Dustin to show them, if they didn't actually order, Nate, I need you to rewatch this, send it to me so I can publicly shame them and we can literally blackball their name for being not nice people. Got it, Nate, you're on mute. Thomas, what uh, anything we can answer for you real quick before we bounce out of here? Um, just the transition from like the physical world to the digital world. What's the easiest way to get around that? Because I know the business world, and it just it's so difficult to translate. Because I've always hired so many people for my social and stuff like that. That doing it myself and producing my own brand that way it seems really I, lonely first, and difficult. First, you need to know it cold, and then you can hire somebody so you know what you're looking for. Brand, uh, by the way, Nate, 
Alan Kay is claiming that he just ordered my 20 cases. I need to get confirmation of that. I don't see a 20 case order yet. All right, Alan Kay, we need to figure that out. So going back to our beautiful guest here, I think that, um, Tom, I think that once you know what you're doing, it's a lot easier um, for you to figure out how to hire somebody or keep somebody. You understand? I'm yeah. a big fan of you knowing first and then taking it from there. You know? That's how I do all my business. Like even if there's a DJ playing at my restaurant, I wanted to know Correct. how to DJ. Like I think everything that's exactly has to right. know how. I think that's right. So so I so I don't have any editors, nothing like that. I do it all myself, but it's a hard road. But it's a super hard road. Josh, let's speak to you. Your yes. road, right? Now you got 3.5 million fo you know, followers on 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 your YouTube. Did you Josh remind me, did you pop? Thank you, Chris, for your case subscription. Did you pop on TikTok first, Josh, or YouTube first, or how did it go down for you? It was really weird. It was, well, kind of both. Uh, I popped on YouTube and then I started my TikTok. Well, you know how you had, you had been talking about TikTok for a while and I already agreed with you, but <laughs> I started it and I didn't tell anybody because I was like, I want to test this algorithm out. And I just went hard and I developed a formula for it and it popped off on its own organically, completely separate from YouTube. So they both popped off separately. And then eventually people finally came together and they're like, wait a minute, that's like guy from TikTok, that's a guy from YouTube. And then it was like, yeah. Big shout out to Alan K. I got it. He did it through the No Bull Conference, 7th and 8th and 8th. That was that big bull quarter. Got it. Um, real pleasure. Thank you. Um, that may, so, Tom, I think it's just, you know, chug along and then you'll know what you're looking for and then you know when you hire somebody good. I, I mean, I hire people that are wrong all the time. It's about um, not dwelling when you make somebody, um, when you pick someone that didn't work out. Yeah, true, true, true. The dwelling... Yeah, the, the, the ego and the lack of humility in hiring, Tom, is what hurts people from scaling. Uh, yeah, I, I just need to know first. It's like, I, that, I can't well, that you gotta, Yeah, that you gotta put in the work. Yeah, yeah, the 100%. work and the patience. I, I just wanted to know if there's any tips and stuff. The tips are fucking I, put in the work. It's kind of like push-ups. Here's the tip, yeah. do push-ups. <laughs> do 10 a day, once you get better, you're gonna do 15. Once you do better, you'll be yeah. doing 100, no problem. Nate, I don't know if you're seeing this, Nate, but it's starting to <laughs> Nate, Bicep Nate, peaks, let's go. At, it's I'm, starting to happen for me. I got Nate. some, I got some oh, shout outs for right. orders. Okay, go ahead, Nate, I'm sorry. Thomas, thank you for being on. Uh, thank you, Nate. Love you guys. Love Have you more. Cindy Thomas, Christopher Cozzolino, Anthony yep, Masucci, uh, Moshi Gersht, Scott Gardner, Chris Jacobson, Felix Goodson, Jonathan Alfaro, Grace Johnson, who you gave a shout out to before, Kat Hart, Joshua Robinson. Tom, oh, that was just Thomas right there. And now we're caught up. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Neil. I, Gary. Go ahead, go ahead, Josh. Gary, what's what up? What's up, Neil? I, I wanted Josh to know. I wanted to know one what? thing. I want to know one, note, note one thing about the guy before because you had you had said it, it's about doing the work, etc. Uh, everything that Gary has ever said, like, is not only accurate. I mean, I I've lived it. I when I I was listening to him in the car when I was like, you know, seventeen and like going to the gym and getting my ass kicked. Uh, and it was basically the only thing I would say is if there if there's a secret that somebody's looking for. Obviously, it doesn't exist, but more specifically, you uncover the secret by actually doing the, the fucking action. So, you, because the secret is your own individualized experience. 100%. 100%. Neil, how are you, brother? I like the black on black Dodgers hat. My boy, Justin Turner, who That's Vayner right. Sports represents, resigned yesterday or the day before. So, we're excited about that. I, I know that. And I'm, I'm glad, uh, you know, he stuck around. I think he, it's, wanted, uh, he wanted to be there. And we're it's, really it's gonna be uh it's gonna be an interesting you know adding well, you know Trevor, and, it's they're Bauer, gonna be Bauer, Bauer and my brother AJ are friendly so I, I I I'm a big Bauer fan I think it's a huge signing for you guys Marisol if you don't like red wine you can buy the rose or the white as a one off too <laughs> nice Nate Neil what's cooking thank you thank for the you support so I had, uh, John I, Nate can you thank Neil for the case oh, subscription that's how he got on I mean can you guys Neil, be nice guys thank you. I had to get on, on the comments, why, thank you. For the people who are listening, okay? Um, you know, I, I'm an actor producer, worked in, on and off behind the camera, born and raised in the film and TV industry for years, got taken down with my parents getting ill 10 years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, you know, just crazy when you deal with that, you know, ripped sort of like right, the rug right out from under you. You're like back up against the wall. I had real estate in our family that went underwater. It was like, Hey, you know, you had to hustle, you had to grind. 
And Gary, I found you about a few years ago and you and I are around the same age. And I like watched you sort of grow through those years, like what you were doing and paying mm -hmm. attention to what you were doing. And it probably was about a year ago where I just was like, so on a regular basis, I'm like, Gary thinks like very, I love the way he thinks. I like how forward minded he, he is. And I can't tell you how many things when I was low, down low, get up against the wall, you know, just having the hardest time, your advice and your wisdom and just knowing from experience speaks to me because my mind works in that way, like where things are going. And I had to like, I had to buy the subscription, not only to be like, Hey, I got to thank you personally, but also to give back. You drop so much stuff for free. And so many people like that watch you and you talk about it all the time, the more value that you can drop, the more stuff that you can help people with, like then find a way to give back. And so for me, it's giving back to you. And at the same time, I get some great wine. Yes. Thank right? you so much. Neil. And then at the same time I was in the reason why, and everybody in this room or everybody following him right now, the reason why I'm on clubhouse because I'm coming from a creator standpoint is because of Gary B. He mentioned it twice and I was like, what the fuck is Clubhouse? And I was like, I got a, and a friend of mine invited me like a month. And I was like, I don't need another like social media, <laughs> yeah. you know? And I'm like inviting all my network, like really like people that are doing really well in all different industries. And they're like, eh, I'm like, okay, they'll get to it. But anyways, I was in the room. I missed you by a tab with Paolo the other day and Dan Fleischman in the sports cards room. And I was like, oh man, I miss Gary, but I'm doing some cool stuff. So Josh, like, you know, I'm collaborating with some different people. Find me on Clubhouse. I got some cool stuff coming through. You can fall into some deep Neil, traps Neil, there. Like get, any of get, you guys, Neil, like, I Neil, love. Oh, Neil, get, get deep on NFT. Oh no, I'm, dude, I just was in the NFTs tips the other day. And Eric, your conduit. I think people that are, naturally creative and you being yeah. in the Hollywood land yeah. are going to, are going to find a lot of happiness in NFT life. Yeah. My, my brother's a visual artist also does different oh. stuff and we have visual artist friends as well. And I okay. literally like stumbled upon it a couple weeks ago. Cause I'm in the crypto space too. And a little bit like from investment, like, yep. you know, stuff. And I literally was like, I got to like wrap my head around the NFT space. I mean, it's just Spend more time on it. So let me ask you one question too. Sure. What do you think, and, and you know, because I know you got other people to go to, what do you think Top Shot and whenever the NFL and whenever the other sort of, you know, the leagues get yep. into the NFT space, what do you think Top Shot does to like the current Panini tops, like all the I think they, co I think they coexist. I you think, think they coexist. Yeah, let me give you an example back to the blue check. I think yeah. the blue check on Instagram is cool. Yeah. And I think the VIP table at the hottest club in Vegas that weekend is cool. Right. People are desperate with, or people are, Neil, the world is desperate for or, and I know it's and. That has been my life. The world, everybody thinks the world is restricted and I know the world is abundant. Both NFT art and this art by Elise Barton, who worked for me for a long time, will both coexist. Yeah. For at least as long as most of us live. Do I believe if I looked out 80 years that people could live in pods like that fucking Ready Player One shit? Yeah, I, 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 you could sell me on that 80 years out. Yeah. But for the fuckers that are watching right now, Neil, everybody wants it to be or, or. It's gonna be the regular cards or NFT. It's gonna be real real estate or virtual. No, no, and, and. Right, Fall right, in right. love with fucking and. Right, no, I agree. I, 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 I'm with you. I, I'm just curious, you know, I was curious on that. Um, but man, thank seriously. you. Thank you. I mean, your words meant a lot to me. Thank you. All Cheers. right. Keep doing Keep what you're doing. I will. And, and uh, any of you guys find me, you know, on Clubhouse, you know, I'm doing, well, I'm doing some cool stuff. Cheers. I love you, Neil. Take care. Yeah. Um, Nate, maybe you can do some final shout outs because I got to run. Yeah, we got a uh, Josh Ordonez, who was a former, former, our first intern. I know Josh. It's good to see Josh. Um, purchased. Uh, thank you, Josh. Uh, Brock McCain, Carolyn Jones, Danielle Kilkelin, probably butchered that last name, but um, yep. Good. 
Coach Josh, <laughs> let's what go, up? baby. Nice hat. Dude, you gave it to me. Thank you. I'm aware. How are you? <laughs> I'm awesome. How are you? It's great to see you. What's up, Josh? You too. What's up, guys? You look good, the, bro. Thank you. You too. By the way, John is an excellent salesman. He just sold me right now. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Although I, do, I don't have any empathy. I only got... You got some Josh. Josh. I love it. Good for you. Yeah. That's cool. How have you been? I've been I've been great, Gary. I've been awesome. How are you? I'm well. You look well. Thank you. Thank you. Josh, Dude, I'm, proud, I'm of so proud of you guys. That last time I saw Josh, he looks better than you the last time I saw him. You, Trout, on the other hand, you've gotten a little bit. Hair is going further back. Well, so. listen, trust me. Why do you think I'm wearing a hat? I mean, like, uh, listen. Uh, by the way, I'm thinking about getting an Afro implant. <laughs> you should do Josh it. Josh I'm thinking about getting an implant like your hair, just because I want to like, I want to, I want to, I want to, like I want long ass hair and just do wild. I mean, I'm making this <laughs> in, the next, in the next That's year. That's the only reason Gary likes me. Yeah, listen, I'm making it a core decision. I'm either going completely, I'm going to shave and go bald or, or more likely, I'm going to get Josh's hair implant just so I can do some like wrestling shit. What are your thoughts right. on that, Trout? Tra what do you go for, bald? Because I'm into the implant thing. LeBron, Brady, you know, fucking Erlacher. Like, I think men's implant hair is like real now. I think you should go for it. Although, I will say, you look far better today Whoa. than you 12 years ago. You're, you're in incredible shape compared to where you were 12 yes, years ago. Yes, dude, I'm like putting <laughs> shit together. Like, I don't think you guys understand what's actually going on. Like, COVID, I put on like, 12 pounds of muscle during COVID, Josh. Wow. Let's go. Like eight to 10. That's amazing. Nate, I will destroy you in most chest exercises at this point. Most. <laughs> like you look better than this. Picture. This is a funny picture from the first time I met yeah, you. I mean, Wait, I, so I, you can I, implant hair? Is that a thing? Have you seen what LeBron and Tom Brady did? Josh has never had to look that up. Yeah. Yeah, Josh is fucking amazing. Yeah, implant hair is like, like one of my hot takes is that we're in 2021. In tw Josh, in 2030, it will become extremely normalized for men's hair transplants. And most guys, not all, some people prefer like half and half, but like I think you will be blown away by how many people go men's implants, like hair. Like, like it's funny. like. I'm like very, you, Nate, John, you know this about me. I can go very extreme. Like I'm like, I like the grays, I'll go bald, but then I'm like, no, I'm gonna fucking go like green. <laughs> like, like Josh's hair, but green. Like, I can I run very hot on this. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's like, I think we're- I love it. I think we're dangerously close to it being normalized and non-taboo, like on the precipice. Which I think is great for Trout and Nate. It's a good thing. I might get into. I think I'm lagging pretty hard. Uh, so no, you're, I'm you're fucking, dude. I'm gonna actually like actually ask for you to cut your hair, so that could be what's implanted into my head. <laughs> Josh, what have you been? What's been going on? <laughs> Which one? John ja Ordonius. Yeah. Which one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I I kind of just have like my own marketing agency now. It's pretty cool. Uh, good for you. Yeah, like I kind of had like one client and then picked up two clients and then um, I, like I now like broker like brand deals for uh, some talent. Um, a lot of like, basically like a lot of people like they, they see I work with brands and so they hit me up and they're like, hey, like, you know, if any projects come in, like hit me up, uh, let me know and you get a percentage. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it's been really cool because um, I get to do multiple things at once and uh, yeah, like it's everything can be done like at home. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome. I'm so proud of you, man. Keep pushing. Hey, Marcus, I appreciate that comment. You said to what did Marcus get for you? If All right, Josh Ordonez, great to see you. We love you, bro. Thank you for the support. You, Weissman, Here, great Josh, to see thanks. you. I'm heading out. This is my uh, last right hook. It would mean the world to me. Um, GaryVEE.com slash EWine. Uh, that will send you to a landing page at Empathy Wines, the brand that us three very handsome gentlemen on this call, all of which are destined for hair implants, um, created and we would really, really appreciate um, any subscriptions, either the three, six, or 12 bottle. Uh, and 
we really think we made an incredible $20 wine, which ironically, because the boys here discounted for this event is even less than that. Free shipping on the case order stuff. Pretty excited about it. Wines are epic. John, Nate, thank you. I love you like brothers as you know. And thank you for everybody. Dustin, please come on here so I can thank you for being on the ones and twos. Once again, extremely, extremely um, capable. Dustin, I also want to talk to you about NFTs. Yeah, no, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I mean, I heard you mention it, but I didn't know it was a creator related. So now I'm, oh, it's, I'm, I'm like, intrigued. yeah, you're going to love it. You're too creative for this shit. Like, um, uh, big shout out to D Rock, who's Dustin's agent and manager. <laughs> Dustin knows what I'm talking about. It's a little fun inside let, joke for us. Let me get a couple, uh, couple yeah, final. Please. Anna Bellinger, Josh Krebs, Isaiah Mitchell. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just super thankful for everybody who supported this project. And you know, here's what's cool. Final parting shot. These are remarkably good $20 wines. And like, if you drink wine and you're ordering right now from Drizzly or Ralph's or Total Wine or Wine.com or anything else, even wine text for that matter. Um, I think you should order a subscription to wine, uh, to Empathy Wines. And I think you should do it today because the discount's gonna go away. Um, so garyvee.com slash ewine. It would mean a lot, a lot to Nate, first and foremost, John second, third Dustin, and then me fourth. If you could subscribe to the subscription, that is the URL to our subscription page. We appreciate you hanging out tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some laughs in with the hair implants. <laughs> I hope you got intrigued by NFTs. Um, and and most of all, I just hope you were entertained and got to escape real life for a little bit and hope you have a wonderful life. Please hit me up on Twitter, Gary VEE. -E, uh, and let me know how, how you enjoyed this session. Uh, and we will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Thank everyone. You.